Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why I'm not spending all that much on Magic the Gathering anymore. And you might be like, oh wow, I see all these boxes and these are really just for patrons um, when they want, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they mostly want Shadows of Innistrad, but we have Oath, I believe we have some Cons and some Battle for Zendikar as well as Dragon, we always have Dragon Maze because if we ever go out, I'll just buy more. Um, so yeah, uh, can you, so I'm spending considerably very little in my opinion on um, new packs new boxes and it's just like i feel like standard is very dry right now um i know that the new set just dropped and there's all these amazing decks i want to see what happens for rotation first before i really commit i want to see how expensive it actually is going to be because i don't know that question so in lieu of that i'm mostly playing modern right now so i don't play that much standard anymore um, I'm playing standard with just the decks that I can run that don't involve many shadows over in the strat. So there's not, I don't have my Avacins yet. They're supposedly in the mail, but I think my pre-order got canceled because it spiked. But we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's, it's a trusted vendor, but should they not deliver, I will definitely call them out um, because it's a larger vendor. And it'll be one that you guys recognize. And I've trusted this vendor for a long time. So I don't know why they want it. So I trust that they will send it. Anyway, I'm spending a lot less, mainly because I feel like standard will be a lot more expensive. I'm going to do more drafts. I'm not going to place, you know, I'm not going to build this new deck and then have to tear apart. Like, Eldric Moon is what? Um, that's a few months from now. And then after Eldric Moon, we rotate out of our um, Battle for Zendikar stuff. No, Dragons and origins rotates out like i'm a little worried because i don't know it seems like a lot faster to me because that one extra set again that's one extra set so instead of going from three sets rotating we go to two sets rotating and that seems kind of fast to me so i don't exactly know how expensive standard will be so i'm not buying as much of it because the math i haven't worked out in my head yet uh, if it makes sense for me to go ahead and buy a case or two cases or even more. Uh, the stuff that I'm buying, it's mainly to open for the patrons because they like to get new stuff, right? No one's going to want to like order open Dragon Maze when they can open uh, Innistrad. So uh, that's partially number reason number one is I my modern collection is complete, so I don't really need to spend any more. Um, and I, I'm happy with my modern decks right now, Pod. Lara Pod, uh, Knight of the Reliquary combo, and just random junky decks, uh, Affinity. Uh, so that, I'm very happy with that. So now when you move to um, Standard, I think it's going to be very expensive, and I'm not going to play that game until I know how expensive it's going to be, until the prices is settled down a little bit. And you know, I look at Avacyn at $50, and it's just my, it's shocking to me Avacyn is $50, because that price is just so over the moon maybe like by the time this video goes up she'll drop some but as of the recording of this video she's over 50 dollars and that to me you know we have jason 80 avison at 50 they might be in the same deck together sometimes you're looking at a play set uh, where your two cards two play sets of cards are going to run you 320 plus 200 like 520 dollars if you wanted to run those two together and I don't think that's a healthy format. So I'm going to, you know, do where I'm going to back up what I say with my spending habits and really kind of reduce the amount of, especially the amount of singles I'm going to purchase and really focus just on modern. I, do, I feel like modern is right now a very good place to be and it's a lot cheaper in my opinion. And at the end of the day, you just, I'm getting kind of tired of this rotation thing because I've just seen a ton of my cons of Tarkir's rotate out. And it's not a great feeling um, when these cards that, you know, you, in my opinion, rotated earlier than they normally would have uh, without the change. Anyway, bye guys.